nhliberty.org. nhliberty.org. The 60s called, and they want their hair back. But other than that, maybe partly because of it, the keen Robin Hood crisis is blowing up good for freedom folk. All right, well, if you ask... You You ain't got no fucking right to be videotaping me, man. If you ask nicely, you may find that people... get the fuck out of my face. Michael Jackson. The bad guys look bad. The good guys look, well, like they look. And everyone does seem to be, well, looking. I used to say we free staters should be getting denounced every week in the mainstream press. But this is something even better. Meter monitors are so disliked around the world that when people hear about this kind of opposition, the opposition's bound to come off as heroes. Folks 500 miles away don't know and don't care about the exact details. If some of the Robin Hooders are annoying, no one in New York is going to care about that. They're just going to see that someone's fighting back. And as long as the message gets out that they can join, well, Free Keen, or maybe the Free Staters in general, should be getting some more recruits as a result of this pop, uh, this publicity. Yeah, people want to know. I, this isn't my question. I'm on video, I assume. People want to know why you guys are so stupid. Of course, it seems like the Free Keeners are being a lot less annoying than some of their opponents. Well, do those people who ask those questions use the internet? Yeah, you've seen the video of them being assaulted and so forth, but wh where's the video, I want to know, of the Free Keeners or the Robin Hooders harassing people? With all the hours of raw tape that have been uploaded by both sides, why have I not seen a frame of tape showing the Free Keeners really harassing someone? I won't talk on camera because you guys doctor your videos. Are you going to put that on? Put that on. starting all this now? If you want yeah, the whole country making fun of uh, Alan now because he went to you and you went to uh, you uh, you started this whole thing with the uh, behind everybody's backs and your little network in the city. Now everybody, the country's making fun of Alan. How do you think he's going to feel about that? You know he's got PTSD from the military. The whole country, you you helped him with that shit, man. Sometimes their demeanor might not be perfect. Mine's not either. It's nothing compared to the kind of grief they get from the authoritarians in town. The hysterical and hypocritical reaction proves Free Keen's point. Sorry, I keep saying Free Keen. I should say the Robin Hooders. The best compliments are backhanded ones. There are a lot of comments on the Keen Sentinel articles that indicate people feel that the city has been outmaneuvered and outwitted by the Robin Hooders. And these comments are coming from people who don't like the Robin Hooders. Oh, and by the way, the number one guy who's making accusations of harassment against the, the Robin Hooders, that guy has assaulted me on camera. Mr. McLean, how are you? What is your salary, if I might ask? Stop it. It's a matter of record. It's published in the newspaper. Why did you touch me, if I might ask? I'm oh, sorry. I thought you were my face. Ian, how are you doing? He's the city manager, uh, Prince John McLean. McLean, I don't know how he says it. Now, he didn't hurt me. He just grabbed me. But, that, I mean, if I, what would happen to me if I did that to him? What would happen to you if you did that to a meter maid? The hypocrisy runs as deep as the hysteria. This is what the keen government gets for being such a one-party state. I will say this, though. There's one thing that seems to be missing that our guys aren't getting right. And that is, there is not a very good effort to promote the free state move. What we want is for people to hear about what's happening and to know that they can do something about it. They can move to New Hampshire. That message doesn't really seem to be getting out that well. Probably one solution would be whenever you're going to be interviewed by the press, the you know outside New Hampshire press, you've got some kind of a Free State Project logo on you, on a hat, on a lapel or something, 
And keep in mind, the cameras will not see anything below your chest. They may not even see your chest. So, yeah, sometimes I put the URL on my forehead. <laughs> That's if you are okay with looking crazy. This edition of the Ridley Report is brought to you by the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. They're attempting to make a clean sweep against politicians that are authoritarian and laws that are authoritarian. But they need your help. Join them at nhliberty.org. Again, that's nhliberty.org. Fighting to keep you free. Fighting at the State House every day. Oh, and I should say, don't join them. Join us, because I am a member of the New Hampshire Liberty Alliance. NHLiberty.org